Hi guys, so today I'm going to be doing a video on your eyes. And first of all, before I even start my video, I just want to say that the only reason I have a single guinea pig right now is because my other guinea pig recently passed away, otherwise I would have two. You should have two guinea pigs just because they are social. Okay, anyways, so today I'm going to be talking about your eyes. So if you don't know what a your eye is, it stands for upper respiratory infection, which is an infection in your guinea pig's lungs. Um, your eyes are fairly common in guinea pigs. They're also very serious, so it's important to know as a guinea pig owner, um, like the symptoms of your eyes and then what to do if your guinea pig gets a your eye. So first of all, how do guinea pigs even get your eyes? So guinea pigs um, can get your eyes just for no particular reason. They could just have a weak immune system or they could just get sick like humans do sometimes. But there are a couple um, things that do um, like that make your guinea pig more susceptible to your eyes and so on. So one of the things is poor ventilation. So if your guinea pig is kept in an aquarium or has poor airflow or air quality, then they're more prone to your eyes. Another thing is um, baby guinea pigs, older guinea pigs, and guinea pigs with heart issues ha um, are more prone to your eyes. There's not really anything you can do about that, but that's just one of the things that can uh, lead to your eye. So another thing is um, uh, like a dirty cage, so like wet bedding, a lot of poop or pee in their cage. Uh, what else? Uh, well, pet stores, guinea pigs have um, URIs a lot of times because the guinea pigs are kept in aquariums sometimes. Not all the time, but sometimes they are. Uh, they're kept in aquariums, so that has poor airflow. And then another thing is cages aren't always the cleanest. Plus, there's a lot of baby guinea pigs together, and baby guinea pigs, like I said, are more prone to URIs, and they're all together, and URIs are highly contagious, so like if one gets them, then they all get them, so that's uh, why guinea pigs at pet stores have URIs a lot of times. So those are just some things that make your guinea pig, or um, that will, may cause your guinea pig to have a URI. Those things don't always lead to a URI, but they can. And another thing is a deficiency in vitamin C. This won't necessarily cause a URI but it makes their immune system weaker uh, just because guinea pigs don't produce their own vitamin C. So that's why it's important to give them pellet food and to always have like a vitamin C supplement or something. Okay, so now what are some of the symptoms of URIs? Some of the symptoms include uh, lethargicness, uh, lack of eating, lack of drinking, uh, lack of poop and pee just because they won't be eating and drinking as much. Also. Uh, like a rough looking hair like it's kind of like puffed up and then also uh, unusual hair loss like bald patches or anything like that another thing is a crusty eyes crusty nose wheezing coughing sneezing uh, I think that's those are the main symptoms for your eyes there's a lot of symptoms so those are just a few but anyways those are the symptoms to your eyes the ones I think are extremely common like for your eyes and everything are a crusty nose and crusty eyes just because those are like um, really, really big signs that your guinea pig has a URI because there isn't many things a crusty nose can be. It can be a vitamin C deficiency, but crusty nose, that's like uh, pretty much URI and vitamin C deficiency. And if you know that you're giving your guinea pig uh, pellet food and veggies and everything like that, then they probably don't have a vitamin C deficiency. They probably have a URI. So those are some of the symptoms. So now what do you do if your guinea pig gets a UR? So there's really only one thing you can do and that's to take your guinea pig to the vet. I know that's not what a lot of people want to hear because going to the vet is expensive, it's stressful on your guinea pig and everything, but that is what you have to do if your guinea pig gets a URI. Because a lot of times people think that your eyes are kind of like a cold in your guinea pig, people who don't know about your eyes, but the fact is they are not like colds in guinea pig, or they are not like a cold. Uh, your guinea pig will not recover from a URI on their own, uh, most likely, like there's probably like a 95% chance that they will not recover naturally from a URI, especially if it is a more serious one. So that's why it's very important to know about URIs and everything. Guinea pigs, uh, when they get sick, they go downhill really, really quickly. So that's why uh, they can die within the first 48 hours of getting a URI, so it's really important that if you notice that your guinea pig has one, to take them to the vet. Because, like I said, this is not something that they will recover from on their own. So when you get to the vet, um, your 
that will probably prescribe either Baytrill or Bactrim. I'm sorry, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right. But Baytrill is for older guinea pigs, um, adult guinea pigs. And then Bactrim is for younger guinea pigs or adult guinea pigs too. So there are other medications that your vet may prescribe, but like those are two of the main ones used for your eyes and guinea pigs. So that's um, pretty much what you should do if your guinea pig gets a URI. Like I said, you do need to take them to the vet ASAP because it's very serious. They can die very, very quickly. Um, yeah, and also URIs are highly contagious in guinea pigs. So if you start to notice you're going to pick up signs of URIs, you should um, separate them from your other guinea pig, but keep them in a place where they can still see each other, but where they're not breathing by each other, where they're not coming in contact with each other. Okay, so that's uh, pretty much it on your eyes. Oh, so now I can tell you guys about um, my personal experience with my other guinea pig, Trixie, who, like I said, has passed away, but when she got a URI. So, um, one night I went downstairs to check on her, and I noticed that she, uh, she wasn't moving around as much, she wasn't drinking as much, she wasn't eating as much, so I kind of picked her up and tried to play with her and everything, but she just, she really wasn't moving that much, and she was being very lethargic. So then I put her back in her cage uh, after I was done holding her, and then I put her by her water bottle and I put some hay and pellets next to her. She wasn't eating or drinking very much, she wasn't pooping or peeing very much, and I did notice that she was sneezing a little bit. So we called the vet and they said that they didn't have any appointments that day, but if she was still um, having this, like uh, having all these problems and stuff, we could take her to the vet the next day. So next morning I went downstairs to check on her, and I started feeding her some lettuce. And she's a pretty slow eater, so sometimes, like, I check her mouth area just to make sure she didn't have any, like, weird, um, teeth growths or, like, anything on her nose or anything. Mm -hmm. So I checked her, um, like, mouth area, and I noticed that her nose was, like, completely crusty and hard. So that's when I was starting to get really concerned. So I ran upstairs, and I told my mom, and she's like, okay, we'll make a vet appointment. So we made a vet appointment for later that day, and then, um, we took her to the vet, and it had been about 24 hours at that point, so she wasn't doing well at all, but she wasn't like in a critical state or anything. So we took her to the vet, and they said that she either had a vitamin C deficiency, but she most likely had a URI. So they prescribed Baytrail for her, and then I just gave her um, two milliliters orally every day, um, or every 12 hours, I mean, and she got better and she was fine. So. That was my personal experience. I know it's not that interesting of a story, but it was really, really scary when it happened. And for anyone who knows, like, when they're, when your pet gets sick, it's, like, terrifying. So that was my personal experience when Trixie got a UR. So I just wanted to tell everyone else about it just because it's a serious thing. I didn't know very much about URIs before Trixie got one, and it's really important to know about this because your guinea pig can die very quickly. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um... If you liked it, give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe. So thanks for watching, guys. Bye.